Hello guys, so today we are going to fix this, the hole in my convertible. I have my own technique to do it. Basically you will need a, a finger pusher, how you want to call it. Some strong needles, especially a curved one. String, pliers and some glue. Then the first step, take, the, take it down. Just a little so you can have access and let the fun begin. One quick mention is that I had to add the audio separately because the maintenance man was cutting the grass. So I don't think you wanted a tornado in your speakers. Okay, let's continue. Select the curved needle. Of course you can do this with any kind of strong needle, but there you will need the finger pusher and maybe the pliers. Hence that's why I recommend the curved one because everything is much easier. Then take half of meter of string and fold it in two pieces end to end. Introduce the string into the curved needle with two knots on the other end. Like so. Trim any excess string for a perfect wire management. Ideally I would recommend that you start to sew from the inside out so this lump of string will be also there. Ok, we are ready to sew. At first this sounds very tricky, but imagine that you only have to match the original holes and with some little initial patience it would be easier and easier as you progress. It helps a lot if you have long arm as well. Just take your time hole by hole. The goal is that you do one line and then come back the same route to interpose the other sew pattern. So I will leave you with some music to enjoy the rest of the clip. And with the help of the cat, this is how it should look like. And in the nick of time I did it since it started to rain. To secure the string, you have to make one or two knots exactly where it exits the fabric. Then cut the excess string again. Ok, we are almost done. For maximum waterproofing I will apply some multi-purpose glue. Not too much because it will overflow everywhere, especially through the zipper on the inside. Then to finishing everything off, take any tool resembling a flathead screwdriver and secure the outer fabric inside the plastic wedge like so. It's really easy, just glide it through. And there you have it, it's a time consuming job but you can save a lot of money if you want to buy a car like this which has the back window damaged. So stay tuned for more BMW tips as I explore my new car. Alex out.